Uh, well, that's a relief. Flushing toilet, brilliant. Yes, in space. Wonder what determines which way the toilet uh, the will swirl down. But hello, welcome back to more Mass Effect. My pie Shepherd is just taking a breather in his personal captain's quarters. We had not visited this before. Oh, and how nice a picture of Liara. That's nice. But yes, we can apparently uh, decorate this and we can select some music for it, so let's do so. From the Mass Effect 1 soundtrack, I believe. So what else do we have? Hmm. It's more majestic. I think this would fit for a uh, pie. Yes. Anyways, we were done with uh, exploring the Normandy. It was time to head on out into space. Uh, so, off to the Combat Information Center. And let's open up that galaxy map. Ah, so now I believe uh, if you actually click on it, like actually it's trying to. Oh yeah, you kind of yeah. Now you can kind of fly around normally a little bit. So that's actually uh, we've apparently arrived in the Omega system. Uh, most of the first jobs are done, so I think uh, I have a few Mike Porkers, but I think we'll just go and. Uh, go to Omega for the first bit. As most important things happen here straight away. Omega, built in a mined out husk of a metallic asteroid, Omega has been a haven for criminals, terrorists and malcontents for thousands of years. At times the station has lain idle and abandoned for centuries, only to be reactivated by a new group of outlaws seeking a fresh start. The space station's original elegant design has given way to haphazard expansion by scrabbling factions of every species. There's no central government or unifying authority on Omega, and nobody can recall the time there ever was one. 7.8 million people on the station, that's uh, quite a living. Asteroids seem a little bit fuzzy. Uh, I guess we have a very fast overview of the airlocks. Videos are significantly sped up, but I think that has to do with uh, with the uh, well, the load times that have gone much faster than was originally expected. So we have a few different appearances. Well, I have two appearances we can look for. I think we'll just go for the basic of Miranda and Jacob. No new appearances. Okay. I'll just go with the basics. Uh, leveling up. So I think I want Jacob to quickly gain access to barrier. So that's. By this rank. And uh, Miranda. I think we want to train her more in Overload. Overload is very good. So it doesn't really matter to pick different weapons for the moment, so we'll just uh, go with the flow right now. Ah, welcome to Omega. You're new here, aren't you? I can always tell. Allow me to... Oh, hello, Mocklin. I was just... Leave, Fargot. Now. Oh, of course, Mocklin. Whatever well, she it's wants. Well, no, there's no need to call him that. Blasted scavengers. Welcome to Omega, Shepard. You know who I am? Of course. We had you tagged the moment you entered the Terminus systems. You're not as subtle as you think. Arya wants to know what brings a dead Spectre to Omega. I suggest you go to Afterlife now and present yourself. Okay. Also surprised that uh, he's not much angrier as a Batarian. Alright, we got it. I'll keep that in mind. 
afterlife now. I'm receiving quarantine warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. Mm -hmm. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. Okay, well, the map. Honestly, I never used the map in this uh, game. The areas are actually pretty well laid out. And, uh, yeah, I've never needed it. Ah, oh, Zahid. Please. Shut it. Please, you have to help me. Nope. No one said you could talk, jackass. You Zaid Masani? Yeah, that's me. You must be Commander Shepard. Hey, we have a galaxy to save. Who's your friend? My contacts told me we're picking up one man, not two. Batarian delinquent. Pissed off someone rich enough to hire me to go after him. And for my bring him in alive rates, even. Please. I didn't do it. I said shut it. Tried to lead me on a chase all over the systems. He should have known better. These people always run to Omega. Mm -hmm. uh, what's your relationship with this bloody Cerberus? What's your relationship with Cerberus? Oh, Easy. Nearly Cerberus gets the is line. me a lot of money to help you on your mission. That's the long and short. Not many mercs would take a suicide mission for the pay. Most mercs don't get an offer like the one Cerberus sent me. This mission doesn't sound like good business, but your elusive man can move a lot of credits. Mm-hmm. It's a simple motivation, but uh, it works, it's predictable at least. And how much does he know? I assume you've been briefed. I've done my homework. Cerberus sent me everything I needed to know. Welcome aboard. I think the uh, Pi and Zaid might get along very well. Good to have you, Zaid. We have a lot to do. That's what they tell me. I assume the elusive man told you about our arrangement. Well, there's always a catch. I'm assuming there's some part of your contract that I'm expected to handle. That about right? Yeah. Funny he didn't tell you. Picked up a mission yeah, a little funny. while back, just before I signed on with Cerberus. Thought you might be interested. You heard the name Vito Santiago? He's the head of the Blue Suns. Runs the whole organization. Seems he recently captured an Eldfell Ashland refinery on Zoya, and is using their workers for slave labor. The company wants it dealt with. If there's time... We'll get to it if we can. Our mission takes priority. I know you've got bigger fish to fry. That's why I'd like to get this other thing dealt with as soon as possible. I better turn this thing in before it starts to stink. I'll be locked and loaded next time you're ready to get some killing done. We will definitely be using Saeed in the future, as I think, as I said, I think uh, him and Pi have very similar mindsets. So, this is pretty cool looking, in a very shabby kind of way. Oh, so there's like views here. Let's see, where was it? I saw it's like, it's, oh dear. Omega, what a piss hole. At least it keeps you on your toes. I've had to come here on business before. I feel like I need a shower afterward, in addition to normal decontamination. Well, it's good to have a shower anyway. So, that's a good point. Um, yeah, that's actually a lot of nice detail in this uh, area. Very well done. It's a beautiful, shabby place. Come on, let me in. Ari's expecting me. No. Go on in. Ari's expecting me. See, they're expecting me.
What? What are you looking at? A dead man. The man whose day I'm about to ruin. Uh, I I'm not looking for trouble. Maybe I am. Maybe you better get out of here before I find you some. All right, all right. I, I've got stuff to do anyway. Wow. Well, let's get out of here. That's uh, that's pretty bit, pretty bitty, bitty badass there, Shepherd. Ooh. I'd like that. All right then. So this music is actually from a Need for Speed game. I later find out. Very well reused of this stuff. Is it just me or are you getting better looking? Who are you talking to? There's no one there! Bottle of brandy. Oh, that was what Dr. Charquest was after. Yes. Well, that was an easy one. But it looks more like a cylinder than a bottle. Let's get boozed! This is blue. Let's have another! I wonder if this actually works in clubs. I think it does. I don't ever go to clubs, so I wouldn't know. Let's uh, save it for two. And we still have to, you know, do business. So no need to get slatteringly drunk just yet. Hello, Anto. You want to talk? Talk to Aria. Well, that was our the idea. I'm guessing that is Arya, the many bodyguards. That's close enough. Stand still. Uh, what's the scan for? If you're for? looking for weapons, you're not doing a very good job. Can't be too careful with dead specters. That could be anyone wearing your face. I was told you're the person to talk to if I have questions. They're clean. Well, that's Depends some outfit she is wearing. You run Omega? <laughs> I am Omega. Okay, does you have that uh, reverberation installed especially for that? But you need more. Everyone needs more something and they all come to me. I'm the boss, CEO, queen, if you're feeling dramatic. It doesn't matter. Omega has no titled ruler and only one rule. Hmm. I never figured uh, the side would be kind of that scaly. Don't fuck with Arya. I have similar rules. Sounds like neither of us likes being jerked around. And well. on your ship, that would matter. Here. We entertain my preferences. I'm getting a sense that there's a lot of double layers to this conversation. So, what can I do for you? Uh, mostly we're after Morden, I think. I'm looking for Morden Solus. Do you know where I can find him? The Solarian Doctor? Last I heard, he was trying to help plague victims in the quarantine zone. I always liked Morden. He's as likely to heal you as he is to shoot you. You know him? What can you tell me about him? Used to be part of the Solarian Special Tasks group. He's brilliant and dangerous. Just don't get him talking. He never shuts up. If you really need to find him, take a shuttle to the quarantine zone. No guarantee they'll let you in, of course. Hmm, quarantine zone, right. So let's ask about Arya. Tell me how you got set up here. That's as privileged as information gets. I have many friends and enemies I keep at varying distances. I don't count you among either. We'll see how useful you prove. Short answer, 
Mind your own damn business. Hmm. Yeah, you could have just started with the short answer. What about Omega? So, you must know what's what on Omega. Everything that's worth knowing. I don't usually give it out freely. Information is power. Mundane things you can find yourself. Take a walk in a back alley or buy one of the mercs a drink. Better yet, talk to the entertainers. They give great tours. Just don't waste my time. Mm-hmm. Well, she's very indifferent about Shepherd Pie. One scan and we're straight to business? People are usually more concerned about who I am. Your death was downplayed, but hardly what I call a secret. I had to make sure it was really you. You could have been anyone, anything. Whatever you need will come out on its own. I'm curious, but Omega doesn't really care about you. Hmm, well that's not actually a nice thought. So who's this Archangel fellow? I'm trying to track down Archangel. You and half of Omega. You want him dead too? Hmm, half of Omega? Why is everyone after him? He thinks he's fighting on the side of good. There is no good side to Omega. Everything he does pisses someone off. It's catching up to him. I have use of a person. I'm putting a team apparently. together. He's on my list. Yeah, that's more like it. You're gonna make some enemies teaming up with Archangel. That's assuming you can get to him. He's in a bit of trouble right now. Explain. What kind of trouble? The local Merc groups have joined forces to take him down. They've got him cornered, but it sounds like they're having trouble finishing him off. They've started hiring anybody with a gun to help them. Sounds like that might be our ticket in. They're using a private room for recruiting. Just over there. I'm sure they'll sign you up. What groups are after him then? Which Merc groups are after Archangel? Blue Suns, Eclipse, Blood Pack. They're Omega's major players. Unless they're at war, you'll never see them together. But one thing they hate more than each other is Archangel. And what info do you have about Archangel? What can you tell me about Archangel? Not as much as I'd like. He showed up here several months ago and started causing all sorts of problems. If you make your own laws, which everyone here does, he makes life difficult. He's reckless and idealistic, but he seems to know enough to stay clear of me. Okay, well, I thanks. appreciate the help. See if you still feel that way when the Mercs realize you're here to help him. Sounds well, like I don't have much time to waste. Yeah. You've got all the time in the world. Archangel? Not so much. All right, so it might be a bit of haste to acquire there. I'm guessing then, yeah, it might actually be wise to go and get Archangel since he doesn't have a lot of time. I think Morden still, uh, Morden is probably all right, from what I hear. So, I hear yeah. you recruiting. Hmm. Why don't you step inside? You'll get paid and the job's done, just like everyone else. Who's next? You Hello. three look like you could do some damage. Looking for a good fight? Yeah, you sure. You could say that. Standard fee is 500 credits each. You get paid when the job's done. If you die, your friends don't collect your share. You'll need your own weapons and armor. Looks like you got that covered. And no, this does not make you a member of the Blue Suns Eclipse of the Blood Pack. You are a freelancer, period. Any questions? Hmm. Uh, what's the plan of assault? Why are the mercs working together to take down Archangel? You haven't been on Omega long, huh? No. He does everything he can to screw with us. Shipments go missing, operations are compromised. Every month it gets worse. Tarek and the other bosses are tired of losing credits. And men. Who's Tarek? Is he a heavy hitter? How many Merc bosses are involved in this attack? Yeah, Tarek runs the Blue Suns, but all three bosses are overseeing the operation. Jareth's leading the Eclipse and Garm's the head of the Blood Pack. Tarek's in charge, but the others would never say that. I'm surprised they're in on this at all, but I guess getting rid of Archangel is worth it. It's a plan of attack, then. What do we do once we're there? How do we get to Archangel? The mercs will tell you when you get there. Last I heard, they were putting the freelancers into scouting groups. They attack in waves to distract like Archangel while we try there. to get past his defenses. So we're distraction fun. So we're just fodder for his bullets? If you don't like it, don't sign up. But if you do your job right, it's easy credits. 
Besides, what are the odds he can kill all of you? Hmm. And, uh, where are we going? Where's the attack taking place? Archangel's base of operations. He's been hiding right under our noses. I can't tell you exactly where you're going, but we'll get you there. All right, ready to go. Where do we go? Just head over to the transport depot outside the club. One of our boys will take you from there. Send in the next one. Hey, is this where I sign up? Uh, how old are you, kid? You look a little young to be freelancing as a merc. I'm old enough. I grew up on Omega. I know how to use a gun. So does Archangel. I can handle myself. Besides, I just spent 50 credits on this pistol, and I want to use it. Okay, well, if you want to be stupid and get killed... If you're killed. sure, registration's in here. Good luck. You'll need it. Yep. Perfect. Thanks. We could have interrupted there and stopped him from doing this, but... Uh, I think Pi respects the life of idiots to throw their life away. Alright, so it seems we have another unexpected job because we need to swiftly act on the, well, getting, making sure that Archangel is not killed. Whoever Archangel Come is. Come on, let me in. Ah, and now we can talk to that driver fellow over there. I'm on the mission. I hope you're ready. Archangel's been annihilating you freelancers. Great news, let's ready go. Ready when you are. Get in. So I believe we can still switch some weapons and, and stuff uh, before the mission. At least I hope so. Right, we can even switch team members. Honestly, since this is Mercs, I think we might need one to Zahid. I uh, probably can get Jacob along, that might be a wise combo. We'll leave um, Miranda to organize. So, disrupt the ammo is good against. Actually, I think we want those Inferno grenades of his. We need to get three of those. Oh, it needs to be loyal. Ah, okay. Well, concussive shots then. Also, no, actually just train in shooting better. Bang, bang. There we go. And Jacob we already got. Shepard has no points to spend, so that's fine. Yeah, equipment. We want to set them up. So we actually have more options now. We only have one uh, light machine uh, ga machine pistol. But we can pick for something else for the heavy pistol. Yes, choose please. So either the uh, Predator heavy pistol, reliable accurate sidearm. Or the Phalanx pistol, effective against armor, weak against shields, biotic barriers, upgrades to the product, upgrades to the product. Handgun product, shield targeting. Honestly, I don't think we need to be fancy alliance weapons. I think we'll just go with the, the Predator heavy pistol so we don't uh, necessarily uh, draw attention. And we have some new heavy uh, weapons uh, choices. Okay, I'm very interested in them for a Black Storm Singularity Projector, a black hole gun. That seems like it might be worth a go. So, good to go, let us head on up. And yeah, let's exit. It's about time they sent me someone who looks like they can actually fight. You bet. I'm ready to go. Is oh, that guy. I'm on my own. I don't need any help. Just tell me where to go. Right. Just head through there. I'm sure you'll find your way. I'm on it. You don't do that with mercenaries, you idiot. Uh-huh. They tell you what we're up against? Hmm. I know enough. Just tell us where to go. Archangels hold up in a building at the end of the boulevard over there. 
He's got superior position, and the only way in is over a very exposed bridge. It's a killing ground, but he's getting tired, making mistakes. We'll have him soon enough. Now that I'm here, you will. I'll get to him. Just point me at that bridge. I like your attitude, but we've got a plan in place. You'll be on a distraction team. Head straight over the bridge and keep Archangel busy so the infiltration team can sneak in behind him. That's gotta have suicide. Pretty much, but you look like you can handle it. Head up to the boulevard and get to the third barricade. Talk to Sergeant Kathka. He'll tell you when to go in. All right, so let's ask a bit more. What about What do you Archangel? know about Archangel? I'm the wrong guy to ask. I just do logistics. Tarek and the other Merc bosses have been dealing with him for a while now. But don't be surprised if they're not thrilled about talking to a freelancer. So the Batarians out here in the Terminus, I think, are just outlaws and cribbles. They actually seem a lot more reasonable than the Batarians that are actually, you know, loyal to the Batarian state we've run into so far. What about the infiltration teams? Where's the infiltration team now? On the far side of the bridge near his hideout. But they can't get any closer without being seen. Uh, they got across the bridge? How'd they get that close without being seen? More distractions. Tarek used a gunship to keep Archangel busy. We were able to sneak a few men into his hideout before he took it down, but they're stuck there. We need to keep Archangel focused on the bridge so he doesn't find them and wipe them out. So what about this bridge? So the bridge is the only way to his hideout? Exactly. Archangel collapsed all the underground passageways and sealed the doors to the lower levels. We've got teams digging, but it's taking too long. If they can get the gunship flying again, that'll help. But I'm hoping the infiltration team will finish the job and we can all go home. If we had a badass gunship? They were using a gunship to take out one guy? Yeah, and Archangel shut it down. He didn't destroy it, but he knew just where to hit it to disable it. It wasn't even a fair fight. At least not for us. Uh, I better go yeah. find Sergeant Kathka. Good idea. Watch yourself on the boulevard. Archangel's killed dozens out there already. Well, we might have a way in, but getting out could be interesting. One thing let's I've find done. him first. Then we'll figure out how to get back. Yeah, let's find him alive first. That's uh, probably the treasure. Well, next time we'll uh, head on off to try and get to Archangel. And uh, yeah. It's been a nice look at Omega so far. Hope you look forward to seeing more. Till later. Bye.